Hey guys, Chris from Propel here, and we're in Mutal, Germany, just a little outside of Riesa Mueller's new headquarters, and we're gonna be checking out the 2020 Riesa Mueller Supercharger, specifically the Supercharger GX Roloff. Some of you guys might have seen the previous Supercharger, and one thing that's really special about the Supercharger overall is this dual power tube battery. Uh, really one of the only bikes out there Previously, really, it was the only bike out there, and this year there's another bike that will also have the dual power tube, and that's gonna be the Super Delight. So it's kind of a little bit of an extension over the same model. The Supercharger is based on the Risa Mueller Charger line, which basically is a standard frame with a hardtail and suspension fork. Relatively wide tires, generally speaking. I mean, the Supercharger is always wide tires, uh, but you have had the Charger with the narrower tire. Um, this one specifically is the Supercharger GX, which now is an option. Previously, the GX was a specific version, which was only available on certain models, but this one is a GX option having the, the knobby tires on it. The standard will be the slicker uh, tires, which are called Supermoto X. This bike really is set up for somebody that wants to ride long distances. They want something a little bit sporty, um, but still is, is comfortable. That's another change that's actually happened on this bike overall that's a little bit more upright you have these slightly more swept back bars. Previously, when you opted for either the touring or the roll off version like this one, you would have more of a flat bar. The color really in a lot of ways came from a previous version that Risa Mueller offered. It was a dual battery charger with this curry color, but it was a gloss finish. So this is maybe a new version of that color in some ways. It's also available in a gray color as well, which is, you know, if you want something a little bit more conservative. Some other details about the Supercharger frame, it's aluminum, but it also has these really cool racks on it. Now the rack for this year has been updated, a lot heavier duty, and there's gonna be a specific system to attach a child seat to here, which previously the racks only it could accommodate about 45 pounds. Now they can accommodate up to nearly 60 pounds. This front rack, which is now also an option for all supercharger models, and you have dual water bottle attachment points, you have integrated wiring into the headset. There's also different versions of the stem, depending on what display you opt for, that you can have uh, actually nearly fully hidden wires. You'll still have the wires coming out of the brake levers and the shifter and everything like that, but ultimately it'll run in through the stem, which is a really nice setup in that way. But probably the most notable thing when you look at the bike compared to last year is this larger chain ring. Now this is the Bosch Generation 4 motor and Risa Mueller is integrating this on several of their models for 2020 including the Supercharger and the new Delight models. So since this is a GX version, it comes with the Schwabi Rock Razor 27.5 by 2.35. It's a relatively wide tire. Now the standard tire on the GT version, which is the standard version, is the Supermoto X 27.5 by 2.4. That's more of a slick tire, has a little bit more puncture protection, but it's not gonna perform as well in these off-road, um, on the off-road terrain. Now these tires are tubeless ready. They do have uh, puncture protection and the rims are tubeless ready as well. So these are the Rody 35 millimeter rims. And so if you wanted to set the bike up tubeless, it's really ready to do that pretty easily. So the Supercharger has a Novatec front hub and a 12 millimeter Q-lock through axle is specific for the Suntour fork, which this one is a Suntour ion fork, 100 millimeters of travel. And it's set up really to be this kind of on off-road fork. Works really well for pretty much any terrain. 
since this is the roll-off version, it has the roll-off hub. This is specifically the roll-off E14 hub, meaning it has the electronic shifting, which is integrated into the Bosch system. The roll-off hub is really special because it's 14 speeds and some really wide range of gears, specifically 526%. So it's one of the widest range gear hubs at anything on the market. The supercharger is also available with the Enviolo hub in the Vario version or standard derailleur gears with the chain in the Touring version. Both the roll-off and the Vario version come standard with the belt drive. With the belt, you don't have to worry about grease at all. You just have to keep it clean and it'll last way longer than a chain will. Most people, when they first look at the belt, might think that it's just rubber, but inside it's actually reinforced carbon strands, which make it really strong. Due to the larger chain ring of the new Bosch motor, Riesen Mueller was no longer to use the upper chain stays they had on their previous model. Instead, they have the brake in the frame, which allow them to remove the belt as necessary, which you shouldn't have to do it often, but you know, really just when you're replacing it. Behind this full-size chain ring, you could almost not even see the Bosch motor. Now, previous versions, they had a smaller chain ring, which was a different setup that every crank revolution, it would turn the chain ring two and a half times. Now with this setup, it's a direct one-to-one -one relationship. Since they removed that reduction gear, there's really no drag at all when you're pedaling without power. There is a slight difference with the older version where you do feel a little bit of resistance when you pedal without power. And I found that on this new system, I can pedal beyond the assistant level really with no problem. It's a little bit easier to see the motor on this side. This specifically is the Bosch Performance Line CX motor with 75 Newton meters of torque. Now it's also available in a speed version, which now also has 75 Newton meters of torque. Previously, it was 63 Newton meters of torque. So you had to make a decision if you wanted high speed or high torque. So now you can have high torque and high speed together, which from my perspective will probably be the more popular configuration, at least in the States. The way the Bosch motor system works is it uses a technology called pedal assist. So basically you pedal the bike and it provides assistance. It does this by utilizing several different sensors. Inside the motor, there's a sensor that senses how fast you're pedaling, as in how fast the pedals are moving. There's also a sensor which senses how hard you're pedaling or how much pressure you're applying to the pedals. And lastly, there's a sensor in the rear, which is a speed sensor, and it senses how fast that rear wheel is going. Based on all this information, Bosch is taking a thousand senses per second and providing you with assistance proportionate to your input. So as with the previous supercharger models, this has a dual 500 watt hour power tube integration. So that's two 36 volt, 13.4 amp hour batteries made by Bosch. And some people ask, well, why don't you do the 625 watt hour ones? But actually it will impact the geometry of the bike so much that they have to make it much longer and I think, from my experience, the bike rides really well as it is, but if, it, if we made the top tube another two inches or so longer, which would be necessary, it wouldn't really perform the same way it does. And a thousand watt hours of power is, is really plenty. They also made another change with the previous version where the covers kind of swung and closed over the batteries. Instead, these rubber covers just sit directly on the battery. And so when you remove the battery, they stay there. To charge the batteries, you can charge them off the bike by removing them, or you can also use this charging port right down below. So it's starting to rain a little bit, but I'm just gonna keep on going with it. If we wanna turn the system on, we just hit the power button here. Just tap that. Now, this is the Intuvia display, but the bike is also available with the Kiox display on all models, or the Smart Hub display is available on all but the roll-off models. When we turn the system on, you get the battery life, currently has a full, full charge, and that's gonna show the average of the two batteries. You get the 
speedometer. Currently it's set to kilometers per hour because that's what they use in Germany here. However, you can also change this to miles per hour, but you shouldn't have to do that. The range, which is gonna show you how much assistance you have left and how many miles you can go. And that's gonna be based on the assistance level that you're on. Right now, it's on turbo mode. So if you wanna check out the assistance levels, the default will be in off. When we go up to the first level, this is a 60% assistance up from 50% last year. Tour mode is 140%. Then we go into e-mountain bike mode, which this previously was specific just to the CX version, but for the generation four Bosch motor system, this is also available for the speed motor. The sport mode or the e-mountain bike mode will provide you assistance between the tour mode and the turbo mode, which turbo mode is 340% and tour again is 140. So it's more dynamic. When you're riding in more of a flat surface and you don't need as much assistance, it's gonna default to more of that tour mode. But once you start climbing a hill and it senses that you need a little extra help, it'll go up to the turbo mode. And that works really well for mountain biking, but it works well for a lot of other terrain as well. So something you might wanna consider. Now this is something that you can enable or disable on the dealer level. So something you could consider talking with your dealer about. Right now we're set in range mode, which is gonna show you how many miles, or in this case, kilometers you have left based on your assistance level. But if we hit the I button, we can change to the odometer, to which gear we're in. That's gonna be specific to the roll-off hub. Trip distance, which is resettable by just holding this reset button down for a couple of seconds. We also have the clock, max speed, which again can also be reset. Average speed, trip time. We show both the batteries here and back to the range. There is a light button on here, but by default, the supercharger, the lights are always gonna be on. For the brakes, the supercharger has MT5 hydraulic disc brakes in the front and MT4 hydraulic disc brakes in the rear. So the front brake is the Magura MT5 quad piston caliper with a Magura 180 millimeter front rotor. The four piston caliper provides a little bit of additional stopping power compared to the standard dual piston. The rear has a dual piston caliper, that's the Magura MT4. Since most of the stopping power is in the front, they have a little bit more up there. And then it's a 180 millimeter rotor in the rear as well. This is a roll off specific rotor. Down below, you can see the roll-off E14 shifter box. This is where the, all the interaction with the hub goes on and the plug which goes into the motor for power and up to the grip for the controls. Now this bike has the roll-off E14 shifter, so we have this plus and minus button up here, which is how we change the gears. If you hit the plus button, you're gonna go up and you could do it individually, or if you hold it down, it'll actually do three at a time. So you can go all the way up to 14, and you can go all the way down. Now, when you come to a stop, this does have the option to downshift automatically, which many people really appreciate. The roll-off does require to let off your pedaling a little bit to allow the gear to engage, where the derailleur, you do need to pedal while you're shifting and the enviolo you can shift under load although it is recommended to let off a little bit as well some other details here you can see these ergonomic grips so these are the gp1 ergon grips and we also have the high beams for the supernova m99 light which you just hit this button here to activate the high beam and hit it again to deactivate the supercharger comes standard with the Ergon SMC4 Sport Gel saddle paired with a Thudbuster seat post made by Cane Creek. Now the seat post is 31.6 millimeters, so the standard seat post is 34.9, so there's a shim here. You could potentially use another 31.6 seat post if you wanted to go for something different like the Connect seat post, the common upgrade for some people. Well, thanks for checking out this review. 
If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. But you can also email us or call us or visit one of our shops. We'll definitely have these bikes in as soon as they're available. And I hope that you check out some other videos that we have coming up.